The Brazos County Sheriff's Office reports it had no complaints of racial profiling in 2023. Sheriff Wayne Dickey says reporting this data is the law and this outcome comes from training being put into action. First in their academy training, they receive um, uh, education about what racial profiling is and how to avoid it. And we do continuing training on how to avoid uh, racial bias. Deputy Nathan Dennis helps patrol Brazos County and says discrimination has no place out here or in their department. None of us are going to work with somebody that would racial profile. Out of more than 6,500 traffic stops last year, around two and a half percent of those stops did deputies acknowledge they knew the driver's race before the stop. Now, most traffic stops happened on county roads involving white males. Across the board, white people were arrested 74 times, Hispanics were arrested 58 times, and black people arrested 51 times. J.R. Gonzalez is with the Texas Association of Mexican American Chambers of Commerce. As someone connected with community around him, he says complaints could sometimes go unreported. The fact that there's zero complaints, I always give a little pause on that and double check that just to make sure that's correct. And it may very well be. My concern is under SB4. By law, Dr. Alex Del Carmen trains Texas police chiefs on keeping racial profiling out of the departments, and he's done so for almost 30 years. He says reporting data like this is in the right direction for the state. Now, the next step in combating racial profiling is identifying racist law enforcement and getting them off the force. We need to know where they are. But, but to do that, we need to really A, be interested in knowing and B, use the right tools to do so. The Brazos County Sheriff's Office is one of the first to go ahead and report on its findings. And now those reports are due by March 1st to the Texas Commission on Law Enforcement. Now I talked to their staff and they tell me it's going to be a few more weeks before other law enforcement agencies reports are published. You may remember back in 2015, Sandra Bland, a black woman, was stopped for not using her turn signal. After a heated encounter with a state trooper, she was arrested. Three days later, she was found dead in her cell after hanging herself. Get out of the car now! Why am I being apprehended? You're trying to give me a ticket I said for your get failure? out of the car. Why am I being apprehended? You I'm giving you a lawful order. order. You I'm going to drag you out of here. So you're going to you're gonna drag me out of my own car? Get out of the car! And then you I will light me? you up! Get out! Wow. Now! Wow. After that, lawmakers filed a bill to address racial profiling during traffic stops. It originally included things like banning police from stopping drivers on traffic violations as a pretext for other crimes and limiting vehicle searches. It ended up becoming the Sandra Bland Act, which diverts people with mental health issues or intellectual disabilities for treatment instead of sending them straight to jail. But by the time it was passed, a lot of the other provisions were stripped out. Now, as Gonzalez mentioned, some are worried that SB4 would justify racial profiling of migrants. The law makes illegally crossing the border a Class B misdemeanor with up to six months in jail. It was blocked by the Supreme Court. Now, hundreds of Texans marched in Austin on Saturday, demanding the repeal of SB4 and the end of Operation Lone Star. Reporting on Brazos County, I'm your senior neighborhood reporter, Bobby Portavent.